are you looking for the perfect sound but you don't have anymore in your Samsung phone the codec aptX HD or the aptX adaptive well in this video guys I'm gonna teach you the greatest trick to get back in your Samsung phone or to use the aptX HD and the aptX adaptive that already contains the HD version the low latency and the aptX normal codec Youtubers, music lovers, audiophiles and you guys who like to run or go at the gym. I have a perfect solution for you to all the earphones and headphones who use the codec aptX HD. Well, you know in the Samsung products we brought a lot of secrets. Well, this video is one secret and one uh, tutorial that I'm going to show you how to gain back to your Samsung phones and we will discuss why Samsung removed the aptX HD and the aptX adaptive from their phones there is a problem with the phones um, I struggle a lot guys to bring you this video two weeks ago I brought you a comparison between Bauer & Wilkins PI7 that contains the codec aptX HD and the Huawei FreeBuds 2 by the Violet that contains the codec LDAC and the clear winner was in that video you can check out the video if you like in our videos and I ask you guys to tell me if someone found a solution or somehow to install in the Samsung phones for example I have here an S10 plus and uh, I don't think anyone on internet is capable of installing the aptX HD and the aptX adaptive uh, it's better the aptX adaptive it's a newer codec that uh, has between 270 kilobits uh, per second and uh, 480 or something like this and it could oscillate creating you the perfect quality and not only this it transmits 24 bits i was wondering and i was not sure if the bauer and wilkins can support to stream from your phone directly to these earphones 24 bits and it supports guys i got to announce you and i uh, promised you if i will find the solution i will come back with a video here is the video guys well it's not only to stream from the uh, connection quality between the uh, left earphone and the right uh, earphone and vice versa it's about streaming from your phone to these earphones and the quality guys it's unbelievable it's i obtain bit by bit perfect quality for those of you who don't skip the videos will hear uh, through my voice a lot of details and a lot of tips and tricks i talk and i'm telling you a lot of secrets and i hope this video will gather a lot of uh, views because this video is not only for the bauer and wilkins this video is for all the earphones and the headphones that support aptx hd and adaptive the earphones like sennheiser edifier like a, a lot of earphones and guys another news bauer and wilkins just released the pi7 s2 version i don't know exactly um, what advantages will have from the first version because the first version i think it's almost a high-end i can say it's a are high-end earphones maybe ha they have a bigger battery a better connection but the connection was good to this pi7 so it's this video is not uh, about bauer and wilkins this is about how to stream from our samsung phones or our samsung tablets that have the aptx simple codec to transform it and have not necessarily into our phones but with an accessory because i was wondering how to install an operating system and and hack the samsung phones the firmware to install back the aptx hd some versions of the s8 i was having an s8 uh, plus it was having the aptx hd into the codex and the LDAC codec and the other codecs, some samsung codec of 24 bits and 
the Samsung uh, dismissed this and does not offer any more uh, to any of their models the aptx hd and adaptive it doesn't offer not even in the s22 or s23 it's a pt i'm not sure exactly if all the samsung models do not have the aptx hd codec but i'm sure that the s8 the galaxy s8 had so why is this why the samsung phones do not have anymore the aptx hd well uh, APDX first, it's a Qualcomm product. The Qualcomm company made some agreements with Samsung. Samsung before had uh, and has still has phones that have this chipset inside. So for the APTX HD, you must have the chipset, the Qualcomm chipset necessarily. So Samsung phones must have in uh, the main board the Qualcomm chipset. For example, the S10 Plus have the Exynon chipset and does not support the aptx hd or the adaptive one and i was wondering how to install this codex it's not possible because even if you install them it will not have a compatibility between uh, uh, the firmware and the hardware the hardware is missing and uh, are some phones are is a s then uh, in the United States, you guys from USA have uh, the uh, S10 Plus that has Qualcomm. I don't know exactly, uh, are cracked firmers or are hacked firmers somewhere uh, you have them. Maybe you can activate that codec, but I don't know exactly how I searched through the internet. I document a lot about these problems. And the only way to have an APTX for you audiophiles who have problems like me to have the greatest sound, the purest sound, it exists uh, and to squeeze every bit perfect audio from our devices it's only one solution that it works flawlessly and not only this with the application i uh, managed to squeeze bit perfect audio guys this is the tricky product that you will make your day it's a 10 bucks bluetooth audio device that acts as a uh, external audio device it's not only a bluetooth it's an external audio bluetooth audio device only audio it's not you cannot send data you can only stream audio and it has 24 bits at 96 kilohertz um, some university i'm not sure about cambridge university uh, made test after 48 kilohertz and 96 kilohertz you cannot hear with your the differences maybe computers audio special audio recording devices will hear this but you will not hear it it made experiments with focus groups with testing groups and no one heard differences between 48 and 96 and above 96 192 you can connect even two devices but in two devices i don't think you will uh, lose some uh, the adaptive mode or uh, it will uh, the adaptive mode will work at a lower bit rate you know when there are two devices is double the stream this small product will make your day guys it's a 5.2 bluetooth it uh, supports windows it says linux and ios but hold on tight it supports also android and this was a, a big surprise for me it's fast and it works flawlessly and let's take it out guys i want to show you this is how it uh, came inside it has a free space i don't it didn't come with anything here but i'm not interested in the documentation i'm interested only in this small small device and if you see guys on the black side it says aptx adaptive aptx hd aptx adaptive and low latency and the low latency it's also for the gamers it has low latency has some specifications uh, it works the sound it's totally different from the aptx simple it's a greater quality it's bit perfect it's i don't know above this i don't think you can gather a better sound than uh, this device it's a pity that uh, we don't have in the samsung phones 
this device to incorporate or a smaller device or something, a, a new idea to have already in our phones. If some of you somehow figure it out how to activate the Epitex Adaptive into our Samsung phones, please give us a, a description in the comment box. Uh, give us uh, the idea to help others guys because you know our videos it's uh, about helping people let me tell you the uh, specification it has an led here in the middle and it says like this the audio format indicator it has even sbc codec this uh, dongle steady blue when it goes into the aptx is a steady china the aptx low latency it's a steady white the aptx hd it's a steady green the aptx adaptive orange is always on and this is what we are looking for so i wanted to buy uh, devices to connect to our, to my phone like that dongle that sonata hd is the same thing with a cable with a cable, you can connect the Sonata HD, a small device that you will connect to your earphones or headphones and will increase the uh, decibels the, and it will give you 24 bits. It's a great uh, external device. Check out in our videos if you want to see. And this is the same thing with this one. Why not to have a small device like a small uh, external sound card to give sound? Uh, first of all, you have to connect it to uh, your phone and we have the converter the usb-c our phones have the usb-c to the normal usb and pure and simple just connect it and put it to your phone that's it guys and now we have a blinking led i don't know if you can see it we have a blinking led here that will search your device red and uh, uh, red and blue will search your device immediately i will show you how to make the pairing and i'll show you how to bit by bit perfect uh, stream your music but first guys it's better to have a small cable that from the usb-c to the normal usb but i didn't find a very thin cable flexible you, you know a very flexible cable not to break because if you are um, uh, carrying into your pocket like this um, you can break easily the connector it's a little bigger this uh, converter and it's an original Samsung one but I don't think you'll find smaller uh, the best idea I think it's and I border myself with a small cable it's not very flexible but I, I, I think I will find a flexible cable from USB-C to a normal USB to fit this dongle I got to tell you I uh, test Xiaomi phones have uh, into their software the aptx adaptive and it's a big difference with the bauer and wilkins pi7 between aptx normal and the aptx adaptive first of all let's see the pairing mode well open up the case and put the bauer and wilkins into the pairing mode another brand put it into the pairing mode now the bluetooth put your bluetooth inside your phone and it will automatically find your device it's a steady blue and now it's a green and now you will see it will turn in orange uh, this is a orange i don't know if the color is relevant i put um, from some angle it's a chinese dongle you realize but a good chinese product for in what angle it depends in what angle you will see it if you are watching right from the front you will see the accurate color if you are watching from a side it will see a little bit green it's a, a rgb led inside or something like this and um, a tree guys i put some scotch tape a duct tape i put a duct tape inside because it's very powerful when you are if you for example if you are listening to your music even if you are watching your phone to surf uh, uh, through the phone it will uh, disturb you this light so put some duct tape push it there gently to not damage something gently push some duct tape and you will have a uniform light now the earphones are connected and are connected in aptx it's orange full orange 
But first of all, install yourself the HiBuy music player. The HiBuy music player, it's a bit perfect music streaming and for cable, for everything, it's an audiophile player for Android. It's a both power amp. It will see this device as an external device, as a dongle. And we have some settings to make to obtain the bit perfect uh, quali audio quality to stream the maximum capability of these earphones. And not, I'm not talking uh, only for the Bauer and Wilkins. All the headphones and all the earphones, all the brands that have aptX, this dongle with your phone will stream bit perfect audio to those uh, devices. First of all, go at settings and I will put the image to the computer. Go at settings um, and now go to the UAT connection mode, put audio quality and put the exclusive DSD mode, you can put it to native. It doesn't support DSD, this, but put this DSD for the other devices, guys, like uh, uh, dongles, audio dongles, audio sound cards, external sound cards for Android. It will help you that setting to stream it by perfect audio. And this is the setting we are interested for exclusive high quality USB audio access. Click OK. And now we have a message allow high by music to access BLS TX40. OK. And this is, guys, now the volume, it's automatically on hardware. And now, if we are streaming, and this is what I was uh, anxious uh, to see. Let's put, uh, Charlie put, that I think it's brilliant in music, in creating music. And, uh, and also, his, his music is very, very good, not only in creation. Now, if you can see, I have it in 44 kilohertz at 24 bits. The, this, this actually track, it's one call away. But if we are clicking here, the sample rate is 96 kilohertz at 24 bits. And this is bit by bit perfect. Now it's in 24 bits. It's what we were looking for and not only 60 bits. You will sense differences between 24 bits and 16 bits. Some will say that it, it's not the difference from 60 bits at 24 bits at um, listening. I heard differences. If it's a good track, I have to say, in 16 bits, with this bit by bit perfect device, like I'm showing you here, uh, the differences are very small, but they are there. The 24 bits audio, I think it will transfer a higher dynamic range of the sound. Uh, and I listen to it and I think it will deliver you a higher dynamic range. Not only this, it will, um, and do not use 44 kilohertz. For example, let's put uh, Diana Krall that I'm loving to uh, um, listen. Um, this jazz has 190 kilohertz at 24 bits. Um, if the stream out is 90, uh, 96 kilohertz at 24 bits, it's bit by bit perfect. So now a big problem with this audio device, it will not work with 192. And I was starting, uh, I didn't know what to do because I had problems, the, this uh, high by player, it blocks itself. Um, I even used the, this uh, case that also had problems and I thought, uh, well, it needs a firmware update or something because it has a bug. It's not a bug, guys. The player doesn't recognize and your device doesn't support, for example, here for more than 48 kilohertz streaming at low latency, this case has a low latency of Bowring Kiss POI7, the aptX low latency. And uh, this one doesn't support more than 96 kilohertz. So you got to make also in the options, this is another trick guys, this is why our videos are long, because it's, uh, it's a lot, there are a lot of tricks for uh, solving you problems that I stay days, weeks, even months solving them. So go at the fixed output sampling rate and put it at 96. Of course, 
if now I will use the this case, I have to put it to 48 kilohertz because it's the maximum that you'll support. I was losing my mind. I didn't know what it, why this software will block. I thought it had a bug, but no, neither the software or the Android or the program had a bug. It's uh, you got to talk with it on his language. Now I'm putting it to 96 kilohertz because I'm uh, using this small dongle and <laughs> it's so small guys if I will find a cable will be the perfect streaming device you will put in your pocket, in your jacket, in your wherever you will carry it and you will not notice it how small it is. Now if we are listening to a track um, the problem is that uh, I, I think it's a setting here the volume will work only with the buttons on your phone into the application. If I will go out of the application, it will work the Android volume, media volume, that will not control your volume. But it has also the hi by player, some settings there on the software or hardware automatically to uh, use the uh, volume control and you can, uh, I don't know if I will go to the, I, go, I went to the software, I don't think it will work. Let's see. No, it's still working uh, the same. It's still working exactly uh, the same. But you can put a volume that you like. And this is it, guys. And guys, now to sh show you that it works, the LED is orange. Okay. And the uh, earphones are working great. Let me show you. Guys, the idea, it's great. It's phenomenal. And I was anxious, guys, to share this with you. Like always, we shared a lot of problems to the Samsung devices and we fixed them. And we created communities to help people free and to encourage Samsung helping us by bringing us good quality products. So guys, I hope you like this idea. I hope you like this video. Share guys with others like this video. If you like and you don't, didn't give hundreds of euros to change your phone to have the Apitex codec adaptive, push that thanks button, push that like button, that subscribe button. You can donate for us into our thanks button wherever you like, if you like this idea. For a $10 uh, dongle, you can make the bit perfect streaming into your device until this video is supported the aptx simple now with this video it supports aptx adaptive or adaptive and subscribe that button guys and give a like i will give you like always free ideas right on your door we are at technology reviews you got to love technology because technology is part of our lives see you guys have a great day bye